Mechanical engineering students study about the first law of thermodynamics in basic thermodynamics. Okay, but before that they studied in physics also. And in physics there is a statement about first law of thermodynamics like that the energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can be transferred from one form to another. So whenever in viva in third semester mechanical engineering, whenever the professor asks the students, the statement comes like energy cannot be created or destroyed, it can be con uh, converted to one form to another. But that is not what is looking for in terms of mechanical engineering. Okay, in terms of mechanical engineering, the first law of thermodynamics is of somewhat different. And it is actually two statements, one is for cycle, one is for process. Okay. So let us see what is first law of thermodynamics, first of all, for a cycle. Let us see, let us assume in PV diagram a cycle. Okay. So in case of cycle, according to Joule's experiment, according to Joule's statement, it says that the, all the heat transferred in that cycle is proportional to the work transferred in the cycle, directly proportional to the work transferred in the cycle. Okay, so whatever the heat is transferred, suppose Q is going in here, the wave is coming out from this process. Okay, so this dQ is directly proportional to dW, or if we remove the proportional this sign, this will be Z, Z is known as Joule's coefficient, Z is known as Joule's, Joule's coefficient, the value of Z is now considered to be 1. So ultimately we will get the heat transfer is equal to the work transfer. Alright, so that is in case of cycle. In case of cycle, the heat transfer is directly proportional to the work transfer in the cycle. And what is cycle? Cycle is number of processes where the starting point and end point is end points are same. Okay. Few important points regarding this uh, cycle thermodynamics processes also that Q and W while taking them as positive or negative. So what happens? Work done by system is positive. Done by system is positive. While Okay, so few important points to remember over here is that while considering heat transfer and work transfer, we have to consider that whenever the system does any kind of work, if the system is doing work, then that work is considered to be positive. Suppose a turbine, turbine does work, okay, we have to apply the mechanical energy or heat energy into the turbine, then the turbine will produce work, and that work is positive work, it is done by the turbine. But in case of pump, what happens in case of pump, we have to supply electrical energy, electrical energy is done on the pump that's why the pump is working okay so that is work done on the system so if it, the work is done on the system that is negative but in case of q that means work if it is towards the outside of the cycle then this will, this will be positive work but heat going in is positive heat going in is positive and heat going out is considered to be loss of heat so then get in that case his heat going out is negative and heat coming in is positive Alright, so that I to remember the directions. If the heat is in this direction of the cycle, then it is positive. If heat is going out, then that is negative. Work going out is positive, work coming in is negative. Alright, so we are discussing about the first law of thermodynamics, and in case of cycle, it is the heat transfer is proportional to the work transfer. Alright, and one more important thing I have, uh, have to tell you over here is that heat is a Low gate energy work is a high gate energy. What is low gate and high gate energy? Low gate energy cannot be completely converted to other form of energy. Heat cannot be completely converted to work, but work can be completely converted into heat. So work is a high gate energy and heat is a low gate energy. Like that means if we suppose 100 joule of uh, heat is applied to a heat engine, then it will not be able to produce 100 joule of work. There must be some loss of heat to the surroundings, to the sink, okay? And that will come in while discussing the second law of thermodynamics that we will get on later on. But now let us discuss the, discuss the first law of thermodynamics for a process. So this is for cycle, for cycle, del Q is equal to del W.
Next, the first law of thermodynamics for a process. So what happens in process? In cycle, what happens? Whatever the heat has transferred, that has, we are considered that, that change is equal to the work change. Change in work done. Okay. But in case of process, what happens? The change in state is occurring. The process, the system is going from one state to another state. Okay. In cycle, the initial and final states are same. But here we are going from one state to another sense, that means the properties will be different now. Over here the properties will not be same as properties over here. Suppose this is point 1 and 2. So what will happen here? Whatever the work heat transfer, heat transfer we have applied, that will cause some work done. Okay, some work done and rest. As I told you that heat cannot be completely converted into work all the heat cannot be converted, converted into work so there must be some other kind of change and that change is in terms of the change in internal energy okay so dq is equal to you can write as heat transfer change in heat transfer or dq is equal to du plus dw okay so amount of heat that has been transferred into the system that will be that will be divided in two parts. One part of the heat will be converted into work. The rest will be stored in the system as internal energy of the system. Okay. So this is for process. This is for uh, statement of first law for process. And for cycle. Alright, for cycle, del Q equal to del W. So, next time, whenever your professor asks you about the first law of thermodynamics, don't say that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Okay, say that for cycle, this is, for process, this is. That statement is also true. Okay, that energy cannot be created or destroyed. It can be converted from one form to another. But, as a mechanical engineering professor, the answer he is looking or she is looking is this. Alright.